Just wanted to do a quick video on the killers, all these things I've done. Um, reading through kind of could possibly make sense, but to me I, I found that it's actually Satan, Lucifer, the devil, talking through the killers, which he does with so many bands. But this one is really a totality of the whole situation that we're under. Um, it starts off when there's nowhere else to run. To me, that's the total grid coming down on us where everything's tracked and controlled, total information awareness, Facebook, they know everything, when no, there's nowhere else to run to hide from this system. Is there room for one more sun? Now is that sun or is it sun? I think they're waiting for Planet X to come where there'll be two suns, the Destroyer, Nemesis, Nibiru. This fulfills to me a lot of what the Bible talks of the day of the Lord where the earth shakes to and fro like a drunkard and the stars fall from heaven. Jesus said in Matthew 24, immediately after those days, don't let anyone deceive you. Isaiah 14, how art thou fallen from heaven, O Lucifer, son of the morning? How art thou cut down to the ground, which just this weaken the nations? For you said in your heart, I will ascend into heaven. I will exalt my throne above the stars of God. He wants to shine in the hearts of men. He wants to be the focus of their adoration and worship. I want to mean it from the back of my broken hand. Zechariah 11:17. I tend to go to the King James, Woe to the idle shepherd that leaveth the flock. The sword shall be as upon his arm and his right eye. His arm shall be clean dried up and his right eye shall be utterly darkened. I think this happened when Michael cast him down. Jesus said, I saw Lucifer fall, or Satan fall to earth like lightning. That's where you get all the lightning symbolism with the stars and whatnot. A lightning bolt over one eye, or all the one eye stuff, that's all referencing Satan, their god. Um, another headaches, another heartbreaks, I'm so much older than I can take. Being that old would be a lot. I mean, this isn't just one human life, this is thousands of years. And my affection, well, it comes and goes. It comes, they'll get riches, but it's at a price. They need sacrifice of friends or family or whatever, but there's blood involved. I need direction to perfection. No, 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 no. Help me out. Okay, you gotta help me out. He doesn't need direction to perfection. He's not looking for that. You gotta help me out. Don't put me on the back burner. Either don't forget about me or don't throw me in hell. Don't burn me. These changes aren't changing me. This whole information age we have, the high technology and all this, all these changes, they're not changing him. The cold-hearted boy I used to be. You gotta help me out. You're gonna bring yourself down. By helping him out, you're gonna bring yourself down. Why would he uh, in a song, what you're gonna bring yourself down? I don't understand that. Unless it's Satan talking, then it makes sense. I got soul and souls, but I'm not a soldier. There's plenty of souls. You know, you gotta help me out. Don't put me on the back burner. You're gonna bring yourself down over and again. Last call for sin. There's not much time, because once Jesus comes back, it, that's done with. When everyone's lost, the battle is won. He is coming down to make war, to battle against humanity. And that's what we see over and over. The more and more you see the evil and how it's so pervasive in music and movies and everything. If there's a movie and they take the Lord's name in vain, obviously that's, that's programming from Satan against Jesus because he holds his name above his word. So it's just a quick video. Subscribe for more and like if you liked it. And subscribe.